CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 96 through 100. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 96. A user just installed specialized software on their workstation that requires enhanced security measures to run. However, when they try to launch the software, an error message pops up, indicating that the software is not currently authorized to run on this device. Which of the following actions will most likely resolve this issue? The answer is B. Attach the required external hardware token. A hardware token is a physical device used for authentication purposes. It typically generates a unique code that the user inputs during login or software access. This adds an extra layer of security beyond traditional password-based authentication. In this scenario, the specialized software likely requires this hardware token for authentication. By connecting the external hardware token to the workstation, the software can verify the user's identity and authorize its operation. Question 97. In a small office setting, what would be the most appropriate and cost-effective choice for organizing Windows computers into a network? The answer is B. Microsoft Workgroup. Microsoft Workgroup refers to a network setup commonly used in small offices or home offices, where computers are organized into a peer-to-peer -peer network. In this configuration, each computer functions both as a client and a server, managing its own user accounts and resources without a centralized authority. Workgroup networks are straightforward to set up and manage, making them suitable for smaller environments. However, they have limited scalability compared to domain-based networks. Question 98. An employee at a tech company needs to access a secure internal system for project management and collaboration. However, when attempting to log into the company's project management platform, they encounter an error message stating, there is a problem with this website's security certificate. Despite rebooting their computer, the error persists. What should the employee do to prevent encountering the security certificate error again? The answer is D. Install a trusted root certificate for the company. By adding the company's root certificate into their list of trusted certificates, the employee effectively instructs their computer to acknowledge and trust the security certificate used by the company's internal systems. This deliberate action serves to eliminate the occurrence of security certificate errors, which often arise when the computer fails to recognize or validate the authenticity of the security certificate presented by a system. Question 99. A school's IT department is revamping its security protocols for student computers. As part of this effort, they're implementing a new policy that automatically returns users to the login prompt after five minutes of inactivity. Which method of computer security is the IT department implementing with this new policy? The answer is C. Screen lock. The IT department's implementation of a policy prompting users to log in again after five minutes of inactivity primarily emphasizes screen lock security. Screen lock is a crucial security feature that automatically locks the computer screen after a period of idleness, requiring users to re-authenticate themselves to regain access. This measure helps prevent unauthorized access to the computer and sensitive data when users are away from their desks or not actively using the device. Question 100. A design company experienced a security breach when a freelance designer unknowingly inserted a compromised USB drive into a workstation, leading to the covert installation of malicious software. Which security measure should be prioritized to mitigate the risk of similar security breaches in the future? The answer is D. Restrict user permissions for software installations. By restricting user permissions for software installations, you can effectively prevent unauthorized or harmful programs from being installed, reducing the risk of malware infiltration through USB drives. 
Additionally, you may want to disable the USB Auto Run feature to further enhance its security by preventing automatic execution of programs from USB drives. Either of these measures would help to strengthen the company's defenses against similar security breaches in the future. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.